Okay, so now that we have successfully um, built our data model, the next thing we need to do is to start building our report. But one thing I always advise is, before you start building your report, you should write all the calculations needed uh, for you to build our report, then we jump into building the report. But the way we know is that any report you are building, any kind of report you are building, you should have these three type of uh, calculations or measures, right? You should have the anchor measures. So anchor measure is just um, a measures that just like uh, basic measures. They are like basic statistic um, aggregations method, like sum, average, can. So you should have all those ones. Then once you have all those ones, it's easy for you to now reference them inside another calculation. Another type of measure you should also have is time intelligence. They are all, also a good uh, measures to use. And you should also have um, the variance, right? Because when you're not comparing things in your report, you are really not kind of um, doing more and uh, more interesting reports right so if i look at my fact table which is the data sales adidas i have some numbers here i have operating margin i have operating profit and i have price per unit i have total sales and units sold so it is advisable i create anchor measure for each of this um uh, measure because when i'm using them to do reporting probably i may just as well assume i want to submit when i actually want to do an average or assume i want to submit when i actually want to do a count right so let's dive into my anchor measure i'm going to write a measure for all of these five and also more so to start a measure you can right click on the table where you want the measures to be saved and you do new measure then right here uh the one i'm going to start with is the unit so, so let me start from below so i'm going to say total units total unit um, sold right and I want to do a simple sum because I just want to sum up all the units sold so once you type sum you see sum here if you click on it or you press your tab it's going to open the bracket for you then when I type unit sold then you see data sales added as unit sold right unit sold. so once I click on it you see sum unit sold and the last thing to do here is just to close my bracket so I'll close my bracket and hit enter so I'm going to repeat what I did what I just did now for almost all of my measures, right? And you can see the measures here change total units sold. And you can see it has a sign difference from what I have before. So let me just quickly create that for the other ones. So I'm going to do new measures to create a total sales. And I'm going to say total sales here, total sales. And I'm going to do a sum again and just um, have my sales here, uh, my total sales, total sales. Yep total sales but because i have a name called total sales before so i can put like an underscore in here so the name doesn't um look like the same right so and here uh by clicking enter i have my total sales here already so let's quickly go to price per unit so for price per unit right i can't actually sum that up because that's price so if i want to use it i think the best thing is to do an average of this so i can look at the average price per unit right so i'm going to do avg average price right average price and here i'm going to do average if a measure called average and you can see it here average and i'm going to put my price in here close my bracket then enter so let me write the next one the next one i'm going to write is the um operating profit that's also a sum because it's like a profit it's money i want to sum it up so let me call this um profit so let me just call it profit is equals to sum my operating uh operating profit right which is this one operating profit i'll close my bracket and enter okay so the next one is operating margin so operating margin is also a percentage just like we saw on the the power query so I, I cannot sum it up because it's actually a percentage so the best thing to do there is also an average so i'm going to do um operating average operating margin avg um operating uh, margin or should i write it in full so operating margin average operating margin is goes to average then operating average then i'm going to type operating margin in here operating um margin and close my bracket and hit enter so that way i have my um operating average operating margin here so i've kind of write all the anchor measure for all the uh, 
um, numbers that I have here. Another numbers I may want to add is like a transaction. So to count the transaction, each row in a table is regarded to as a transaction. So I cannot just count the number. So I need to count each of the row. So the measure to use for that is called count rows, right? Because if you would have built this engine speak English and it's actually English. So I'm going to put count rows. So this is transaction count. So trans count, right? And I'm going to use a function called count rows. So count rows, we count uh, the data sales Adidas table for me. It's going to count all the rows inside this table, right? And I'm going to hit enter. And I have a, a functions for transaction scan. So basically, we are done with all the anchor measures. So the next thing is to write some, uh, probably some variants, right? Let's write some, maybe time intelligence. Let's just write some time intelligence and see how that works.